Hello everyone, welcome to Hello Press. In this video, we are going to learn about taxonomy in document understanding. In our previous video, I have explained document understanding and its entire framework. Let me bring it once again, the entire document understanding framework here. It contains six different parts, load taxonomy, digitize, classify, extract, validate, and export. I'm going to prepare separate videos for each topic one by one so that you can understand very well. Let's start with load taxonomy. Before we start, we have to do a configuration setting to execute document understanding concept. Go to your UiPath Studio, click on Manage Package, then click on All Packages, type UiPath.IntelligentOCR.Activities. This is the package we require to complete the document processing framework. Click on Install, then click on the Save button. Now, look at here in the project panel, there is a new dependency package added that is uipath.intelligentocr.activities. The concept is we are going to extract data from various documents like PDF, images, scanned images and so on. Let's look into the documents which we are going to extract data. Here I have two types of documents. One is an invoice and another one is a purchase order. Both the document has different data with a different format. For example, if I provide a purchase order as an import, the bot can identify the document type through document understanding. Let's see how we are going to categorize the document and how we are going to extract the data. As you know, document understanding has a different part. We will go one by one to understand clearly. First, I will start load taxonomy. What is load taxonomy? It will define files or arrange things into groups for data extraction. For example, assume that I run a company. It has different departments like HR, IT, Finance, Admin and so on. Each department has different document handling. Am I right? The finance team has a cash flow statement, balance sheet, tax return and accounts payable and accounts receivable documents. The HR team has offer letters, employee agreements and contracts etc. This is the structure we used to say arranging things into group. We have a company. Under the company, we have a different departments and under the departments, we have a different document types. This is the exact one is taxonomy. I hope you are clear with taxonomy. Taxonomy is the place classifying documents or arranging things into a group. Let's get start with practice. Go to UiPath Studio. Click on Design tab. Here you have a taxonomy manager icon. This icon will appear after you install the intelligent OCR package. Let's click on taxonomy manager. After clicking it, you will get a taxonomy manager window. Look at this window and its options very carefully. In the left panel, we have a taxonomy folder and the right side panel we have the file location all your document grouping structure will be stored in this path in json format you can see the json file under document processing folder after completing this grouping structure you can see all the keyboard shortcuts here to handle this taxonomy manager click on group enter your group name i will name it hello chris
then click save then click on your group name you can see two options in the right side panel that is category and document type here i'm going to click on the category i will name it the finance department since we are going to deal with invoices and purchase order documents click on save now click on your finance department header you can see document types in your right side panel click on document type enter your document name i have two document types that is invoice and purchase order i will name it invoice first then click on save the document type has been created let me create one more document type again click on document type enter your next document type i will add my next document type is purchase order now click on save now look at this structure we have created a group and under this you can see the category name then we have created two document types under the category we are done with the classification part now we will add the document field that we are going to capture the data let me select invoice first click on field you will get two options here the field name and field type from this invoice i want to extract invoice number invoice date due date and the balance due let me add the invoice number in the name field then click on the field type you will get many options here choose the one which matches your field i will select field type as number then click on save you have created one field create the remaining field click on field continue the same procedure to the remaining field We have created the field for invoice document. Let's click on any one of the invoice field. Here you can see the field name, part key, color field. You can customize this part key and color. This is just for differentiating the fields. Let's go to the purchase order document. Click on field. From this purchase order, we are going to extract PO number, date. vendor address delivery date total amount let's do it one by one like how we did for the invoice document If you want to add a few more departments or document types, you can continue with the same flow. Now we are done our entire grouping parts. After closing this taxonomy manager window, your entire data will be saved in the JSON file. Let's close this window. Now go to activity panel, search document understanding in the search bar. you will see all the document understanding activities here we will see one by one let's start with load taxonomy drag and drop load taxonomy activity carefully watch this part 
we have designed the entire grouping structure using taxonomy manager now we are going to load those structures in json file format okay click on load taxonomy activities go to the properties panel create a variable i will name it json underscore taxonomy then click on ok now go to the variable panel see the variable type the variable type marked as a document taxonomy now go to the project folder you can see a new document processing folder under this you will see a json file let's open this taxonomy json file to see our document grouping structure let me right click on this json file open with notepad to see the structure do not edit the structure i just i wanted to show you how the structure will you can see group category document field whatever we designed in taxonomy manager Let's close this. Go back to UiPath Studio. Using this load taxonomy activity, we have loaded all our structured document into JSON form. I hope you are clear with taxonomy manager and load taxonomy activity. In the next tutorial, we will see digitize part, features, and its usage. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe and support. connect with us for more tutorials